Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sarah and I post new beauty videos every single week. Today we are going to be talking about this brow product right here. This one is the L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow, which is why you don't see me with anything on my brows right now. It looks a little crazy. My natural brows are very, very light in color and they're also very, very thin. So when I don't wear anything on my brows, it looks like I really don't have any, which is why I always have to fill in my brows. That is why we are going to be testing this out. This claims to be a long wear brow gel. It comes in five different shades. It comes in blonde, light brunette, brunette, dark brunette, which is what I have right here, and black as well. It retails for $16.99, so $17 US dollars. You get 0.15 ounces worth of product, and the thing that I really liked is that... It also comes with a brow brush and a spoolie. Very, very helpful that it comes with this to go along with this so that you can fill in your brows and define them as well. This reminds me a lot of the Wonder Brow. Like, if I were to just glance at this, that is what this packaging here looks like. We'll see whether or not it does perform the same way. So this particular brow gel claims to be waterproof, smudge proof, transfer proof, and sweat resistant. So I'm gonna be testing it out for, for pretty much everything. I do plan on working out today and I'm going to be working out with a face full of makeup, which I don't typically do. I just feel very yucky when I work out in um, makeup because I sweat and it just doesn't feel good. But I want to make sure that this does what it claims to do. I'm also going to be swatching it here along the forearm and rubbing it with water, running some water through it to see whether or not water will affect it in any way. So I am planning on doing a few things, not just filling in the brows and calling it done. We are going to test this out to see whether or not it's worth it because $16.99 that's up there for a drugstore product. That is that is up there. So I want to make sure that this is absolutely worth it. So first things first, I'm going to fill my brows in. As far as how to do it, it states that you should lightly apply the product to fill in the sparse areas with the doe foot applicator that this comes with. And then it says that you can use the angled brush in order to outline and define your brow shape with feather-like strokes. In order to finish it off, you can comb through brows with the spoolie. So it sounds like you start off with this and then you move on to this and then you finish it off with this. So we get everything that we need. Okay, so before I get started, I'm gonna zoom y'all in. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this right brow here. Gonna take this applicator. It comes with a doe foot applicator and it grabs quite a bit of product here along the tip. So I'm trying, I'm gonna try to go very light-handed. Ooh, it's a lot of product. And this is just going to help me fill in the sparse areas. So this is meant to help fill in any sparse areas, which I kind of just have all throughout my brow. Okay. Of course, I don't like it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this, apply it on to the back of my hand so that I can grab it with the angled brush. Before I fill them in though, I am going to go through and comb it with the spoolie. I know it says to do this at the end, but I feel like I have just a ton of product in this one particular area right here. And I don't like how that looks right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the spoolie early. Now I'm going to go in with the angled brush. I'm actually just going to apply this like I would my pomade. That is what I typically wear on my brows is my Anastasia pomade and I apply it with an angled brush. So I'm gonna to try to apply this the same way that I would the pomade. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the spoolie side in order to just brush through it. Okay, so there's one brow done and as you can see, what a difference. It absolutely adds thickness and it really, really fills them in super quickly. Now I'm going to work on the other one.
Okay, so those are both done. Now while I wait for those to set, I'm going to run some more experiments here on my forearm. Okay, so the fill-in process was quite simple. I did learn that it does set quite fast. Um, so I can feel it. I can feel it setting, but it doesn't feel doesn't feel um, kind of like uncomfortable glue, kind of like the Wonder Brow. That's why I didn't like that one very much. It's because it felt like glue on your brow. This one is very flexible, it's comfortable, and um, yeah, it's set quite fast. So it hasn't even been a whole like minute and it's already set. So I can see why they would recommend that you use the applicator first um, in order to get kind of like a large area and then that you define it with the angled brush here because it does dry down pretty quickly. So you don't want to take your time with this product otherwise you might run into issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this product here, I'm going to take the applicator I'm just going to apply three different sections here. Okay, so I've got my three swatches here. I'm gonna wait for them to dry down and then I will be right back. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. This is completely dry. And as you can see, it does not smudge whatsoever. Like, and it doesn't transfer on to my finger at all. There's nothing on my finger. And it's staying put. So I like that. I really, really like that. Now let's test these out. So we've already tested this out. We know that it doesn't transfer and we know that it doesn't smudge. It doesn't go anywhere. Once it's dry, it is dry. It's there. Now we're going to see whether or not water will affect it. So here I have a little bit of water, as you can see, um, in this little cup here. Now I'm going to take it with my finger and see whether or not water affects it in any way and it doesn't seem to at all. All right, so you can jump in the pool with this. This is not coming off whatsoever. Now let's see whether or not some hand soap and water affect it. I don't know why I chose hand soap. Let's see here. So I have some soap on my finger. I'm dipping it in to the water in order to try to lather it. It is not coming off. Not even with soap and water. Here, let me rinse it. Nothing. All right, so last but not least, I'm actually gonna use some makeup remover and see how easy it comes off with that. This is the Green Clean Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. Okay. So after massaging it for a while, now it's finally coming off. Usually this balm, this cleansing balm, it'll melt all of my makeup off right away. This is taking a little bit of work to get through. Quite a bit of work actually. All right, finally, after a little bit of elbow grease, I was finally able to rub it all off and now it's finally, finally gone. So the only thing that we have not tested this out for is sweat. Is it sweat proof like it claims to be? I'm gonna test it out. I'm going to see whether or not it is. I'm gonna work out in my makeup, which I don't typically do, but I am going to do it for today in order to test this out completely. I'm gonna go do some hit, some cardio, where I know that I will sweat a lot, and then I will be back in order to show you all whether or not it affects the brows in any way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna go work out and I will be right back. Okay, so now I am back after a pretty brutal hit and strength workout. Like, I feel disgusting. I can't wait to take a shower. I was dripping, drenched in sweat. Like, if I would show you if it wasn't so gross, but trust me, it was gross. Anyway, the brows are still looking really good and they haven't moved nothing has moved and I was sweating like really sweating it was I was sweating so now let's see nothing there and nothing here it still looks really good 
So there you have it. We have tested this product out thoroughly, I would say. I can say that it is definitely waterproof, it is definitely smudge proof, and it is absolutely sweat proof. If you're someone who likes to wear, you know, brow product to the gym, or if you want to wear a brow product that's going to last you, I would highly recommend this L'Oreal Brow Gel. Also because like I mentioned earlier, it is very comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy, it feels very lightweight, and it'll last you throughout an entire day. You can throw water at it, sweat at it, soap at it, and it won't move. The only thing that seems to remove it is, of course, an oil-based cleanser like my balm that I used earlier on my um, on my forearm. But even that, like it took a little bit to get going and get off of the skin. So I would say that this will probably last you a couple of days at least if you want it to. And yeah, it's a really, really good brow product. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future product reviews, makeup tutorials, anything beauty related. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms where I absolutely love to interact with you all, especially on Instagram. I am the most active on Instagram. Not so much Snapchat, Twitter, mm, every once in a while, but Instagram is where you should definitely follow me. As always, take care, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! Bye.